What is going on guys, it's Murray Dwarfer here. Welcome back to another PS4 and PS5 news update for the Blu-ray Drive Jailbreak, as well as uh, some other updates here for the PS4. So obviously in my last main update I did covering all the different test payloads, we kind of covered how to use FTP on the PS4, that there was an FTP payload that you could run on 9.00, 9.03 and 9.04, which gave you access to part of the file system of the PS4, using this Blu-ray Drive jailbreak exploit, just the user land portion of the exploit. But we didn't really have anything for the PS5. There weren't really any test payloads for the PS5. There was an ISO that you could write that would list the contents of the app zero directory, I believe. And that was really it, just a test payload to show that the vulnerability did work on the PS5. However, we do now have a payload that we can run on the PS5 that will allow you to dump the contents of the app zero directory to your computer. So that is a good step forward. So what we have here is this PS5 dump utility by John Tornblum. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong as usual. But uh, anyway, you can see here we've got the PS5 file dump. Now this is a project that needs to be turned into an ISO file. I've already done that here. We've got PS5 file dump.iso and we can just write this onto a Blu-ray disc. Now, when you build the ISO, you need to put in a static IP address. So, you know, if I, I could put this link in the description. So if you want to test it out yourself, you can. Uh, but of course, because it's set to my computer's IP address, which is 192.168.1.22, that means that in order for it to work for you, you will have to statically assign your computer that same IP address in order for it to work. Unless you want to build the ISO yourself in Linux, uh, which is obviously a possibility you can just edit the ip address and then build it if you know how so yeah anyway what we're going to do here is of course run image burn and of course you're going to need your blu-ray writer whether that's an external or internal blu-ray burner and then we're going to write a image file to disk i've got my verbatim disk inside again any blu-ray disk will work as long as it's you know like a standard uh, bd-r disk or bd-re disk like this one which are obviously the rewritable disks, which allow you to write to them multiple times. So I've had multiple other test ISOs on the same disk. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this PS5 ISO and drag it into image burn. So it's now in there, disk DIR. And now we're going to click this button here to write it to the disk and click yes. And then that will only take a few seconds. All right, there we go. So we've now written that ISO to the disk. So I'm going to eject the disk and put it in my PS5 and show you how this works. Okay, so before we load that up on the PS5, we're going to get SoCat for Windows. Now you can get this here from this GitHub repository. You just go to the code and download as a zip file and extract it here to your computer as I have right here. And then all we're going to do is we're going to open this folder that has SOCAT inside. We're gonna click up here in the file path and type in CMD space before the file path and then press enter. That just opens up a command prompt window in this location. Okay, so then we're gonna type in SOCAT dash TCP dash listen colon 18194, which is the port number and then the right arrow and then the name of the file that we're gonna write the data to which is going to be app0.zip. So that is how we're going to set that up. And then we're just going to hit enter and you can see it's now listening. So all we're going to do now is switch over to the PS5. Now I apologize for having it at 1080p resolution. So it's not the best quality right now, but we're going to run the disc. So we, I've inserted the Blu-ray disc. So we're going to run the disc here and then just wait for that to load up. And there we go, it's loading up. So you can see it's saying that it is currently sending and we're just going to wait for it to say done once it's finished. Okay and now you can see it says it is done. Okay so if we switch back over to the computer here and we go to SOCAT folder you can see we now have this app0.zip file which is about 34 35 megabytes so if we open this up we will get app0 that we can extract onto our desktop and we now have access to that folder. So we have successfully dumped some files and folders here from our PS5. So yeah, pretty awesome. It's not quite as good as having a FTP server that you can run and access even more of the file system, 
but the fact that we're able to actually get some files dumped directly off the PS5 here using the Blu-ray drive exploit is obviously a good step in the right direction. So the significance of this, according to Zeko Shao on Twitter or Control Execute, he was looking for people to actually, you know, do this on their PS5s and send him the dumps for development purposes. But uh, yeah, the significance, according to him, is that there are some Java files that are required uh, on the PS5, some encrypted Java files that can be decrypted by dumping the files in this way. So you, they now have access to these decrypted Java files, which can help in the ongoing development of expanding this exploit on the PS5. So that's obviously a good step in the right direction. Again, not an FTP server, but the fact that we actually can get some files off our PS5 now is clearly a good step in the right direction. So that's what we have right there. So moving on to the PS4. So on the PS4, there's been a little update to Gold Hen. So in the last video I did about Gold Hen, I talked about the version 2.3b1, which was a preview build of Gold Hen where you had to donate to Sistro and request it in order to get access to it. That was unfortunately leaked out, which we all knew was going to happen at some point. However, there's now been a newer version, which is Gold Hen version 2.3b2, which adds one other interesting feature. So the B1 update, if you haven't already heard, it adds this nice little Gold Hen button that replaces the PS button, which is a completely useless button on jailbroken PS4s since you can't connect to PS Plus anyway. So there's no use for that. So it replaces that with the Gold Hen button here in the function menu so that you can get quick access here to the Gold Hen settings. And of course, you have the cheat settings that's also been added here so that you can enable just the title ID on all of your apps. So you can see all the different title IDs for all of the apps that you have installed on the home menu. And of course, you can also make it display either just the app version, which shows you all of the game versions that the games are running on. And then of course, also the ability to select the title ID and the game version. So you can see both of them here on the home screen, which is again, very, very useful. So that was added along with compatibility in the Gold Hen cheat menu for PS2 games. So you can use the Gold Hen cheat menu to mod your PS2 games on the PS4 as well. Again, covered all of that in the previous update. But one of the changes that's been made in the B2 version, which I personally find very useful, is that it shows the true game version on here in the title ID labels and game version labels. So if I hit options on Black Ops 4 and I go to information, you can see that it says we're on version 1.00. So if I didn't have this uh, gold hen label that shows it's on 1.24, I would have no idea what game version it's actually on. I would probably think that it's on version 1.00 when it's actually on version 1.24. And the problem, the reason why this happens is that when you dump a game, you can choose to either dump the game and the update into separate folders and then build a fake package version of the game and the update so that when you you know install the game and then install the patch it will display the correct game version but what some people do is they dump the game and the update into one folder and then build it so it's just one package file that you install onto the ps4 and the game is already pre-updated the PS4 isn't going to know that, so it thinks it's still on version 1.00 because it's just one game package file that's been installed, no updates. So it thinks the game is on 1.00 when it's actually been patched with the 1.24 update. But, you know, it, the, the console has no way of telling that. So this also applies if you're installing like a modded update for the base game. So you've got the base game on 1.00 and you make a modded update to patch that game with some modified files or something well, then that update will increment the game version to say 1.01 when the game is actually still on 1.00. So again, this is handy because it will show you the true game version, no matter how many modded updates and, and other stuff that you have installed, it will show you the correct version. So yeah, that's a, a really handy little extra thing that's been added in this version. So thought I would mention that here in this video. Now, if you do want to test out this version of Gold Hen yourself, then PRB was given permission to include it in his exploit host. It is still a test payload, so it is still considered unstable and could potentially, you know, run into some crashes and stuff like that and freezing issues that could possibly occur. Although Sistro assured me that the payload's not dangerous or anything. I mean, he wouldn't have, you know, released a preview build if the payload was dangerous. So yeah, it's, it's fine. But, you know, obviously there might be some issues since it is a test build. But if you do want to test it out, you can head into the internet browser and you can load up PRB's host and you want to head to PRB 
123.ir forward slash 23x x in uppercase characters and then we'll do dot html so if you head to that website you can test out gold hen you can see 2.3x test loader which loads the latest test build of gold hen and i'm sure other hosts have already included it but yeah that's all the updates i have for you guys here in this video so obviously gold hen is progressing it's getting better and better and the blu-ray drive jailbreak is improving and we are getting some stuff for ps5 now it is going to take a while it is a new system that uh, you know none of, the, none of the developers are really familiar with so it's going to take some time uh, you know for stuff to come out for the ps5 but we are looking at steps in the right direction so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i'll hopefully see you guys in the next one